I was thinking about the Venn diagram of some of my typewriters. When deciding to arrange the three typewriters on the table in the backyard under the mottled shade of the trees with the noise of the birds and traffic and airplanes flying overhead, he has to decide the order in which the typewriters are placed, which in turn means he has to decide the arrangement of their Venn diagram. For instance, on the left is the SCM made Singer 6 series Type R Electric. In the middle is the Smith Corona 5 Series Type R Electric. And on the right is the SCM 6 Series Type R Manual. This is but one possible arrangement, but there might be one advantage to this arrangement. Consider this. Between the two Type R Electrics can be located a plug strip for powering them. Let us consider the opening of the cases. Let us consider their Smith Coronaness. Let us consider the machines and the cases together in their overall similarities and design evolution. Let us pretend it is 1968 and the president of SCM has laid out three of his machines in the yard of his Connecticut country mansion to consider the evolution of his company's products. From a strictly chronological point of view, this order makes no sense. The 5 Series Electric would have come first, of course, and it's branded Smith Corona. And it's a bit less certain as to the order between the Galaxy 12 in these examples and the Singer Electric because of the lack of other examples of the Singer in the typewriter database. But if you were the president of SCM, you would have certainly considered the SCM Galaxy 12 to be a superior product being branded with your company's name then the Singer SCM made Type R Electric, which actually might be a more practical writing tool for the professional writer and professional secretary. But never mind that. Let us now unpack the typewriters and set them up next to each other outside of their cases and consider more carefully their features. Let us consider setting up the three typewriters to operate. With the Singer Electric, you have to turn the switch on, ensuring the machine is plugged into a power source. With the Smith Corona Electric, you also have to turn on the power switch to activate the machine, ensuring it is plugged into a power source. With the Galaxy 12 manual, there is no power source required. The machine is ready to use. Let's assume you're not familiar with any of these typewriters, and you just assume they're all equally functional. Perhaps you would choose to use a typewriter based on its color, or its shape, or style. Perhaps you like the yellow and beige look of the Singer Electric and its 1960s angular curved shapes, which we've named Goldfinger. Or perhaps you like the rounded 1950s look of the Smith Corona Electric with its turquoise blue and its bright red electric logo. Or perhaps there's something more appealing about the two-tone angular blue Smith Corona Manual Galaxy 12 from the 60s. Maybe it speaks of the Apollo moon landings and riots on Kent State University. Perhaps there are other details that attract you to one machine over the other. For instance, the shape of the carriage return lever on the Singer, or the even more exotic shape of the 5 Series electric Smith Corona, or the padded paddle appearance of the Galaxy 12. Perhaps aesthetics aren't as important to you as functionality. Perhaps the short key throw of the 6 Series electric appeals to you more than looks alone. 
Or maybe for you, it's a combination of both looks and functionality, as in the case of the Smith Corona 5 Series Electric, with its more traditional shaped keys that still has a very short key throw. Perhaps you're more of a traditionalist, a manual typewriter person, and somehow the Galaxy 12 appeals to you, but you don't want to be left in the dust in terms of capability. You still have the power space feature, which mimics the electric powered operation of the other two machines. Perhaps you like using backing sheets to protect the platen on your typewriters. Perhaps you feel Goldfinger needs a yellow backing sheet, whereas the other two machines need something a little more on the blue end of the spectrum. Perhaps that is important to you. Perhaps the operation of the machine is more important than the looks. Perhaps you can't judge a machine by its style, model, make, or age. Perhaps as you sit down to the 5 Series Smith Corona Electric, you begin to have pangs of guilt over abandoning your love of manual typewriters for the allure of the electric type R machine. Or perhaps you haven't really abandoned the manual typewriter. Rather, you're just exploring other options. Perhaps you have misgivings about recording this video under the shade trees in the backyard because of the seeds that fall from the trees that get in the machine and cause sappy smears on the paper. Or perhaps it doesn't really matter. Perhaps your misgivings about recording this video outdoors under the tree that drops seeds in the machine is partly assuaged by the fact that you're using yellow backing paper with your Goldfinger typewriter, or perhaps it doesn't really matter. Perhaps the beautiful turquoise color isn't enough to attract you to the machine, but the rotary power switch with the red indicator for power on that matches the red electric raised logo on the front panel does attract you to the machine like no other. Or perhaps you're a newcomer to the typewriter game and wonder what the hell is an SCM but you know your grandmother used a Singer sewing machine and so maybe that scores points and also perhaps you don't mind the baby crap yellowish slightly brownish maybe gold if you stretch it color to the plastic body but you're entirely smitten by the entirely pragmatic power switch that just pushes away from you no fancy red rotating indicator on the front panel just a practical application of your finger push it back it says on pull it forward it says off maybe you're a pragmatist not an artist maybe you don't have any pretensions about what you're doing with your typing you just need a good typewriter Maybe you're afraid that if the typewriter is any more showy, any more pretty, that it would detract from the seriousness of your work. Maybe people would think you're a poser with this bright red power on an electric logo of the 5 series machine. Maybe this 6 series in its undistinguished Singer badging is just a little bit more down to earth for you. Perhaps when other typewriter aficionados criticize you for liking electric machines, pointing out that you need a plug, a power source in order to use them, perhaps you retort that, well, all you're doing is taking your manual typewriters to coffee shops anyways, and coffee shops have plenty of power outlets for all those people that use their MacBook computers that only last an hour and a half on the batteries. So what's the problem with needing a power source? Or maybe you're a Star Wars fan and thought that if you could rattle can this typewriter in glossy black like Darth Vader's helmet, that this 1960s styling of fold-out ribbon cover would just fit the bill exactly. Or perhaps you were raised on I Love Lucy and the 1950s styling of this Smith Corona Electric reminds you of Fred Mertz's Chevrolet in its roundedness, its old-fashioned looks, its manual ribbon reverse lever. 
or perhaps for you, the original Star Trek TV series of the 1960s was the only valid Star Trek TV series. And there's something very reminiscent about this Galaxy 12 from the 1960s that reminds you of the original Star Trek series, especially its bright two-tone blue that you could almost imagine sitting on the console of Lieutenant Uhuru's desk, except that would be stereotyping her as a female typist, and we wouldn't want that in the 1960s, would we? There's a lot to think about when considering 1950s and 1960s Smith Corona made electric and manual type R machines. There are so many possibilities that the mind boggles, and so perhaps the best solution is just to collect the whole set.